Looks got 80 pounders in. Um, we'll just unbox one of them in this video. So these guys uh, were incredibly big pain in the ass to get from down almost the end of the driveway to the house. You know, when they're in a box like this, it's just really uh, difficult. And if it wasn't Friday to do an unboxing video, the smart thing would have been to do, take it out of the box so you could grab the handle. Um, maybe also, that would a good idea to move my weight belt. But I threw them in the back seat. Um, I wasn't about to throw this into the... Um, let's see if I can just roll that out of there. I wasn't about to throw it into the trunk because these would have been ungodly difficult to get out of there, I'm feeling. Especially if they rolled all the way to the back, uh, which, you know, really not the back, but to the towards the back seat, I should say. So, um, yeah, these are cap. And I don't want to roll that onto the tile. I gotta sweep up in here, folks. Nothing worse than a, a dirty floor when you're filming, huh? So this one looks to be in a little better shape than the other one. Um, cleaner, at least. They uh, had some issues with the paint. You know, looking at it along this line, this isn't like perfectly symmetrical. Um, I don't know if you can see it from that angle. It, it definitely goes this way. Um, these were cast. Kind of feel a little bit on that side of it. And obviously on the inside, if we look at it from a different angle, you can really see the, the line. Um, let's take a look at it from this side. That way I don't have to pick the dumbbell up. So, yeah, there's a much bigger difference there. Um, you know, as long as it weighs 80 pounds and the handles are good. And uh, this and that are, you know, about the really almost the same exact weight. They'll do. Now, I uh, previously my heaviest dumbbells here were 70s. I've struggled with, hey, should I get some bigger dumbbells? Do I really need bigger dumbbells? I bought the Olympic dumbbells that you can, you know, make up to like a 130 pound dumbbell. Realized they're only really good for shrugs, probably for uh, one arm rows. You could do uh, deadlifts with them, squats, you know, a lot, a lot of different exercises. But trying to do incline bench with them just doesn't work so good. Flat bench wouldn't work so good. Unless you had somebody hand it to you, then that's another story. But trying to rest those things on your leg, you know, just not going to work out so great. Yeah, so I decided, hey, um, let me get some 80s. I was almost going to get the 95-pound, uh, Walmart's got a better deal than these, 95-pound rubber-coated weeder ones for 115 bucks. So... A little more than a uh, dollar per pound. Um, it's like one point, whatever that is, one point two dollars per pound. These were, I think, one hundred five. So they were more like a dollar and a quarter per pound. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we'll see how this goes with the incline. If I, you know, end up cranking out uh, a ridiculous number, what's a ridiculous number? Um, over 15, we'll say, because to be honest with you, at my age, we don't need to be doing ego lifting with the dumbbells. Barbell's another story where it's somewhat controlled and I can be somewhat safe with it, with spotter bars or spotter. Um, but these, uh, these dumbbells, you know, it'd be a little, a little difficult to, uh, Get those in position the heavier you go so sometimes you need a spotter so it doesn't really help you know do an incline with them if i don't have somebody there say to help me out that can uh, uh, 
maybe I could get one arm and you know one dumbbell in the position maybe I need a, a hand for the second one um, that said though in my current age I'm not sure what I can uh, bench incline bench for dumbbells I don't like doing um, dumbbells for flats matter of fact I really don't even like flat bench press anymore and I think that stems back to when I won a um, bench press competition and I ended up injured after a fact um, or during the fact whichever way I look at it so because of that I you know I felt like decline flat decline decline barbell um, is better for me from the active aspect of me not um, arching my back and stuff and then incline you just can't go as heavy but uh, yeah so I don't know there you go folks there is the uh, one of the two 80 pounders now you know for me it's like well would I go to 85 after this well, it wouldn't make a lot of sense because I have those magnetic plates I can put on it um, what might make sense is to go to 90 uh, or 95 but like I said this was such a hassle to get these down here um, I'll, I'll have to on the spot do the unboxing um, <laughs> they get delivered or hope that the delivery person that works for Walmart is not the same person that comes with Amazon that way they uh, end up you know bringing it to the house thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you